Good evening. We are on Tuesday, the 8th of June. And quite frankly, I am amazed that I'm here with you because I accepted it in the middle of the day, in the afternoon, that I would not be having the internet for maybe up to 72 hours. Last night, I dismantled Talk Talk because I like to take my time and I knew I didn't need the internet in the night. So I took it out and I plugged in the new one with Direct Save Telecom Limited and was ready for it to be up and running and the phone, everything sorted. Anyway, this morning I rung my new number from my mobile. It didn't ring. I was a bit concerned, but I was so busy all morning and so tired that I ignored it. I should have started earlier in the day than I did, researching why the phone wasn't working and I didn't even turn the computer on because I knew it couldn't be working because the phone wasn't working. So I didn't see any online masses or anything. I just I just accepted the situation. Well, no internet for two two days or so maybe. I did ring them from my mobile and a young woman just categorically said that, uh, you know, she went through the, what she considers were the technical issues and just said that I'd have to wait. I accepted it and I didn't fight it and I didn't get cross, didn't get angry and just thought, well, and they stop work at six o'clock as you know. So around six o'clock, my landline, which wasn't working all day, suddenly rang. And it was a young man called Carl, who was an outreach engineer, and his day ends at six o'clock. He happens to live in my village, and he's getting married on the 22nd of July. It was a happy conversation, because he was here until seven o'clock almost, and he could not make um, my internet work. The phone worked and we went for, he couldn't come in. That's another issue. He couldn't come in here because of COVID-19 issues. So he came round the building and my windows are wide and he um, spoke to me through the window. I showed him all the equipment that he wanted to see and did all the technical stuff with the computer and my phone and this and that. Still couldn't make it work. Just no connection to the internet. I just accepted it. And uh, he was very patient, very kind. And he rung the company that's providing me, because Outreach are a, a, a different company. He, they do everybody's lines and that. And so he, he spoke to Direct Save Telecom and they talked him through all the technical issues that he could do on his phone. And between them, they've got me the internet. I just couldn't believe it. It was just amazing because I wasn't supposed to have it and I accepted it. So God must want it to, to be working. <laughs> so I'm really, I'm really thrilled. And I wanted to give him a bottle of gin that I won when my mum died, I went to my old church and won a big bottle of gin, a huge bottle, and it would have done for his wedding. I would have given it to him, but he said, no, he's not allowed to accept anything. God bless him. So I'd ask you to pray for Carl and his future wife and that they'll be very happy. And what a lovely young man. And that's why I'm going to be sharing with you healing prayers for every day. So I'm going to pray for him as well. And so I, I'm, I'm absolutely delighted because I was accepting that I would not be recording today or this evening, but I still can do the rosary live. So I am so happy that there's good people in this world. He worked an extra hour overtime for me. I think that's wonderful. So, you know, there's hope why there's young people like that in the world. He didn't have to come and help me. That's so wonderful. So we're now on the 8th of June, 2021. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom his love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. The reading for today, the 8th of June, is from Act 17, verse 29. Since we are God's offspring, we ought not to think that the deity is like an image of gold or silver or stone, fashioned by human art and imagination. The reflection, there seems no end to our wants and needs. We work overtime and do not get enough sleep so that we can spend more money to refill our bank account, we repeat this cycle over and over again. It should not surprise us that we feel empty inside. The prayer, Father, you brought us into this world. Help us remember where we came from and where we are going. Today, let me be mindful that my fulfilment is in you. Amen. Thank you for listening. May God bless you and heal you, and I'm sending you God's peace in abundance, and be happy and joyful in the Lord. And be happy that I'm here as well, because I'm so thrilled that there's such good people. You know, it's really made my day, this has, because... I'm not even dressed suitably to be recording, I'm tired, I maybe should be wearing a cardigan or something, you can see where I got burnt by the sun yesterday, maybe I should put a cardigan on, I look a bit raw. Alright, God bless you and uh, hopefully we'll be back tomorrow.